Good evening, everyone. This is Paul with My Reseller Genie. And I'm going to do a quick video today just showing some basic features um, that have been around in Genie for a while. Uh, so if you click on the profile icon, you'll see profile settings. And when you click here, there's a couple things that you can do. So you can change the estimated income tax rate. So it defaults to 25%. If you want that to be lower, higher, you can do that here. Now, the one thing that some people have requested, which just currently isn't uh, doable, is changing it to 0%. Um, that's something that we will update in the future. But if you want it to be 0%, what you can do is go 0. 0, 0, 0, as many zeros you want, and then a one. And that's basically going to make it 0%. So that's uh, how you can change the estimated income tax rate. Uh, you can also add sales platforms in here. So I've got a couple listed here, but if I wanted to add a new one, um, like Hall Sale, you type it and then hit enter, and that adds a new sales platform. Now, you notice I also have uh, general ledger accounts in here. Uh, so this is one of two areas where you can add general ledger accounts. Um, the other area I'll show you in a second, but um, you can also edit them. So like if I wanted to change this to an other business cost type, I could edit it that way. Um, and if I want to add one, I just click add. And let's see, what do we want to make this advertising? And that under other business costs. There we go. And then w once you've uh, you made the changes you want, you just click save. And then these are all updated. And uh, let me just show you the sales platform. So when I click report sale, I can go to sale platforms and now Hall Sale shows up. And then in the expense detail, if I click add and I search for advertising, there, shows up right there. And while we're here, this is the other place where you can add a general ledger account. Um, when you click on the general ledger account, the first option is add new account. And that just brings up a place for you to put in the account name and select the account type. Uh, if you have questions about what these account types mean, just hover over this info icon and it'll explain it to you. You can also check out uh, on the P&L detail when you run one of these reports. Um, there's an info icon that uh, has some helpful information about profit and loss statements. But we're getting off topic. So those are just some of the video or some of the features I wanted to show you that you can change in profile settings. And I hope this has been helpful.